Okay, kid. Here's where you're gonna learn what it takes to be a real mafioso. Every wise guy has a compass in his head, telling him which way and where to go. So, follow your inner compass and go to the stage with the table on it. Are you sure you're not being followed? All right. Now, climb up on the stage. Be careful not to rip your suit. Well, you got yourself dirty climbing up here anyway, so you may as well practice a side roll. You're no good to the Don if you get shot. Now go to the table. When you're next to the table, the exclamation mark will appear in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. It's the action button. The action button symbol indicates that you could perform an action or interact with the environment. Here, you could take the guns from the table. Go on, do it. You can perform one more action on stage. See what you can find. If you're not sure what you should be doing, you can review your objectives. Hello, is there anyone home? Stop making a fool of yourself. It's time to get on with more serious business. Choose a weapon from your inventory. Let's see how you handle a gun. Shoot the cans off of the table. Always remember to reload, just in case you get into trouble. But remember, when you throw away a magazine or empty a chamber that isn't completely empty, you will lose the unused rounds. You should also be prepared to switch weapons as quickly as possible. Just because you're part of the Mafia doesn't mean that you can walk around waving a gun. The police will arrest you if they see you carrying a gun. Hide your weapon now. Now, take the baseball bat from the table. You can't carry and hide all of the weapons under your coat. If you have a large weapon like a shotgun hidden but are also carrying another one and you spot a policeman, you're just gonna have to throw it away to avoid attention. Okay, you're gonna need that bat. So pick it up again. The police won't give you any trouble if you're carrying a bat. Even if you might use it to, say, knock someone out. See that guy over there? Walk up behind him and knock him out cold. As hard as you can. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Now, to get around the city, you're gonna need to know how to drive. Walk over to that car. You're able to steal any car that you come across, but only if you've been shown how to get into it. Try to pick the lock on the car door. Make sure that the police don't spot you when breaking into cars. Now, get in the car. When you get in a car, a radar will be displayed next to the compass. It shows other vehicles that are in your surrounding area. And it'll also display your destination when you're close enough. Drive to the place indicated.
Okay. Every car has a speed limit. When used, it will allow you to drive at maximum speed limit allowed and not exceed it. Use this to avoid worrying about being stopped by the police for exceeding the speed limit. The police will appear as blue cars on the radar. Turn on the limiter and drive in the direction indicated by the compass. Even when you're driving, you may have to defend yourself. You can shoot from a car while driving, but can only use handguns. Choose a Colt and try it. If someone steps into the road in front of you, you should warn them by sounding the car horn. Now listen up. In our line of work, you don't want to draw attention to yourself, so be aware of the police patrolling the city. If you commit a minor offense, a symbol of a fine will be displayed. Simply stop and pay the fine, and then you can be on your way. When you're spotted committing a serious offense, a handcuff symbol will be displayed. You can try to evade the police, but if they catch you, you'll be arrested. Lastly, always keep your weapons hidden when out in the city. If the police detect shots being fired, a symbol of a gun will be displayed. You'll now be wanted by all of the police in the area, and they will return fire. How you're gonna get out of that situation is up to you. That's it. From now on, it's down to you to see what you make of yourself.